Hi, this is Shadi. Today we will be discussing triangles. Everyone loves triangles and they have a very rich history, how it developed, all the entries and the setups, and it just keeps on getting better. However, I do believe there are some setups that are being left out, especially in the judo context of things. So when it comes to triangles, everyone knows the very famous variation from the guard here you see developed by Kanemitsu and his student Hayakawa. You see this a lot in jujitsu since the guard position is very prominent. Now later on people say that Oda developed here the side variation that you see this very interesting entry you see a lot of it or variations of it in judo because of the rule set the transitions from the stand up to the ground and people tend to turtle to avoid being punished uh, for their bad throwing now again like i said um, in judo is a bit different uh, you see this type of triangle here from the guard more in jiu-jitsu like i said because of the guard but it's a rarity in judo it does happen again very rarely but um, just to see that the rules do play a big role in how to get to particular uh, submissions in judo you usually see this a transition someone getting in hooking in from the top and then rolling them over with the free arm trying to tie it up and then uh, getting into a pin. This is Maruyama from 2016. Um, another one great at triangles today is Daria Bilodid, the Ukrainian uh, world champion. She has a very unique one where she actually enters the same but a bit from the side because the arm is closer to her and she traps it easily and she just has to roll over to her side or to her stomach. Now, so, like I said, the one that is very famous is this very standard roll where you hook in uh, as someone turtles and then you grab the arm and then pull it. But let's start with some unusual ones, also very old and rarely practiced or rarely done in competition or not at all done in competition. So this one here, they call it the wrong side because you're rolling away from the arm that is strapped compared to the classical one so what is happening here is that you get the hook this is by the way a, an old classical production of superstar judo and now what you see here what he does is actually go underneath him and then gets the body to roll over him in order to get it so again it's it's not uh orthodox but uh, nonetheless you do get a good uh, leverage by doing this and then rolling them over you but do not be afraid because you got them in the triangle so um, again let's not forget another triangle legend Mark Housinga Olympic champion and here you see what he does is uh, pull the leg so he can hook it and then flatten them out and then roll to the side not doing those big rolls and uh, shoulder rolls and spins in order to get them or use the hand and try to get and do all these things. He was brilliant at it. Now, this one here, the arm lever. The arm lever is easy to get in judo because we fall into this position so quickly. Then you roll it over on top of their head to get them to move and then you get the arm locked and the head and the arm or the other arm separated which makes you go into a triangle rather easily so there is a better way to grab this arm and i'll show you later someone did a better example of this but it's about grabbing the wrist rotating around them which will get them to be in a very compromised position on the shoulder and from there you can attack the head and the arm so link for this will be in the description if you are interested I highly uh, recommend it and also it's where I'm getting my footage from so let's take a look at Ishii 
he does this in his own tutorial and uh, so what he does is as if he's going for an ude garami or kimura grip so he rolls around the head as you just saw here and then he gets the arm lever to get them on their side and from there he can proceed to attack the head and the arm so you can either attack an ude garami as you see here or you can tie it up with the jacket because judo skirts are long and so you can actually use uh, their own skirt against them and then tie up that arm and then go to the side so here you see you have the arm that is tied up and you have on the other side the head and the arm which you just need to collect so you can either go for a strangle or here go to the side but don't forget to collect the arm and you get it so it's a shame that you don't get to see these uh, you just a lot of people just tend to know one or two variation and they tend to attack it and that's it and because it's only one or two so people tend to defend them successfully this one here off the back you remove one arm and then you put your hooks in and then you roll on your shoulder like doing ukemi and from there it is finished almost finished so it's really interesting very dynamic and um, again I, I don't see it in competition maybe unless someone has saw it recently but uh, judo wise I don't think anyone has seen it. and again this is an old production now the closest thing to this is Mariyama's 2016 triangle where he rolls but in the opposite direction because he got it from the front and not from the back so he, he does a classical uh, entry but then rolls over like this rather so this is a wrong side so to speak but he does this big roll but eventually he does not get it but it was great entry and finally the last triangle it is not uh, a strangle or a pin per se it is when you are trying to uh, get the arm off and they are very strong so what you do is is triangle the arm and then pull towards you which becomes a bicep slice so uh, all links will be in the description below if you have anything to add let me know down below and which one of your triangle entries is your favorite uh, let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was shady and as always thank you for listening